Once upon a time, a beggar was dissatisfied with his existence because he had to beg to live. Everything had to be begged for. He would be dissatisfied with this and consider how his life would alter as a result. I was expecting him to be disappointed. Every day, he would see many frustrated people, people with tears in their eyes, people who were burdened by numerous issues, going to Gautam Buddha and returning joyful. That beggar couldn't comprehend what Gautam Buddha used to do to them to make them so happy. When there was neither a lot of money nor gold or silver in the hands of the people upon their return, what happened was that people were so delighted. After considering all of this, the beggar decided to visit Mahatma Buddha and investigate what is going on there. Why do miserable people come to him and become happy? He took a stroll to meet Buddha. Because there was a very lengthy line where Buddha was present, the beggar joined it. He got in line and began waiting for his turn. When it was his turn, he approached Buddha. Buddha, I am quite poor, he confessed. I am completely devoid of resources. Even to govern my life, I must beg people. Now you tell me, how can I live my life better? You are not poor, Buddha remarked after hearing all of this. You believe this because you have never done anything for anyone else up to this point. You've never given to anyone either. You haven't helped anyone else. Hearing all this, the beggar was in dilemma. To allay his confusion, the beggar asked, I am a beggar. How can I donate to people and help people? I have to ask others to run my own life. After hearing all this, Gautam Buddha kept quiet for a while and then said to him, you have a hand with which you can serve people and do good to others. Also you have mouth so that you say good things and encourage others. You can help others by doing all this. It is not necessary that donations be made only with money. We can also donate education if we want. If the God has given someone a perfectly good body, then he is not poor. He is simply poor in mind. He should move away from this thought and serve others. After listening to all these things of Buddha, that beggar became very happy and his mind was satisfied now. Moral of the story, we all waste time worrying that we are poor but this is not true. The truth is that as long as our body is completely better, we can use it to move forward and improve our life. If a person just pays attention to his poverty and does not try to change it then he's a fool. Apart from this, we also learn from this story that donations, not only money, education, food, good thoughts, etc. should also be made. If you do not have money, you can education others or you can also share good thoughts to others. This makes society better.